morning. Um, as you guys know, I've got a, um, I'm running my down deep class again in January. And the other day someone had asked me, like, is it for beginners? Is it advanced? Um, you know, people have different questions. What can I learn in, in your class? And the one thing I would tell you that you can learn is you can learn to tell the truth and your truth. Um, keeping in mind that your truth is not always somebody else's truth, right? But you can learn to tell your truth in the moment. You can learn to develop your style, what I like to call your hand, um, in your artwork. And um, you also develop muscle memory as you're working. So I sit down and do a spread every single day. And I usually work in old books that I repurpose. And I thought I would do um, a walkthrough for you uh, of a couple, of, just a couple of journals. And I've got this one, which is an old book, and this one, which is a junk journal. And some of you may have seen these journals before. Um, I was working in these journals through COVID. So, um, you know, it is what it is. And, and that's the whole point of what I'm trying to say is that our lives are not all pretty and everything that happens is good, right? We have grief and we have joy and we have, you know, dark times and we have really bright times. So I think it's important that we, um, as artists, we pull all of that in. So, um, because it makes your art more truthful and it also makes your art fuller your art life fuller when you are expressing all of the different things that are happening in your life. Um, here's the first one. And you can just see, um, you know, I'm working different things out. I get a few words and I put them on the, you know, on the page. This one's called the end of an error. And, you know, it's just stuff that comes to me when I'm working. And that's how I know, um, you know, kind of what's, what's needing my attention. And I don't do well from a clean white background. And so I usually throw paint on the page and I talk more about that in my class and how I do that. Um, and then work from there. And as I said, this is a journal that I was working on during COVID. Um, and, you know, we've had a lot that we've been dealing with. Tomorrow will be better, right? <laughs> And I have to admit, you know, um, these last two years have been challenging on so, so many levels for all of us. And not only are we dealing with, you know, our own truths, our, our own day-to-day -day stuff, but globally we're dealing with a lot. So um, where I come to dump that stuff is into my art journal. And over time, like when I say time, I mean like over a month or so, I start to really get a, a good indication of the things that I need to look at for myself. So it's, you know, it's a kind of therapy for me as well. And you can see this is a page that didn't call to me. It's not finished. I don't work in chronological order. I just open up pages and pick one that calls to me and, you know, get started. We were hunkered down.
This one says, I have woken up with an ache and a quiet, empty feeling. <laughs> Social distancing sucks. Yeah, it does. This one says, stand in your story. And you know, that is the important part for me is that I stand in my story. Um, that I don't, that I don't lie to myself. And that was that one. And then I was also working in a junk journal. Um, if people send stuff to me, I think you guys have heard me say it before, you know, I'm going to use it. And if stuff comes in the mail or, you know, I find something um, here or there, a business card, whatever, I'm going to use it because I hate the thought of all that stuff being trashed. And, you know, if I'm using... Um, for instance, this is not my image. If I'm using this image, I'm not going to sell this, right? This is just for my own personal um, enlightenment, you know, my own personal knowledge. Make sure y'all can see. And you can see, a junk journal for me is a little bit different. It's just a little different because I'm working with different size pages and different patterns. Um, and a lot of times during the pandemic when I could not draw or do anything, I found myself doing this. I'm just, mark, I, you know, I was mark making and... Um, and just th basically throwing up feelings with paint <laughs> on the page. <laughs> and again, this is not you know, it's not pretty, but it's how I was feeling. Like in this one, it says, I just want to run. Yeah, run, run away. You can just see I was just, you know, working out my feelings, working with color and pattern, altars of sorrow, yeah. <laughs> working out my fears. This one says, someone said, I mean, We've just spent so much time during COVID listening to what, you know, hey, someone said this, someone said that. Um, I 
And so that's the end of that one. But um, when you are thinking about um, taking a class, any class, not just my class, the thing that I always look at is, is this going to um, help me develop my style? So uh, years ago, when my son was taking drum lessons, my other son was taking guitar lessons, um, the teacher would say they're, basically they're illuminated. Um, meaning uh, one day you just get it and you go with it. So if you are someone who is still kind of searching for your style and you want to take a class to explore that, um, it's, it's an easy thing to do when you're working from your truth to be illuminated. We can always, um, we can develop muscle memory and get some skill sets and find out you know, what kind of supplies we need to be using. But the hardest part is learning what your style is, what feels truthful to you, and then being able to put that out on the page. And I do believe that this is a class that can help you do that. So I hope you guys are having a good day and I'm hoping to see you in class.